Welcome to the last video in this series. Now that you have signed in for the eResources site, you will now learn how to utilize the academic databases within. On the left-hand side of the web page, you will see a quick link navigation column in which you can conveniently access the desired category of resources available. To browse the collection of academic databases, scroll down until you see the eDatabases section. Select a database of your choice, based on your discipline of study or related profession. The search bar plays a prominent role in any database layout. It is where you enter your desired research topic, using keywords or specific phrases. In order to get more accurate search results, here are a couple of useful tips. Enter your search term in quotation marks. This search command is known as Boolean Operator and the database will give you results with the exact words or phrase within. This is especially useful when your search topic consists of niche or technical terms. Use the AND operator to connect two or more search terms together. This is an important command as you can get search results which are relevant to the various conditions within your research topic. Another characteristic to note within databases is the filtering options column that appears when you are viewing the search results. By checking the respective filtering options, you can narrow down your search results further based on source type, select scholarly journals for in-depth paper and studies, publication date, refer to journals or articles based on recency, publication title, find articles from specific journal newspaper or magazine titles. As a final tip, you can also click on the Cite button when viewing your selected piece, in which a citation line will be auto-generated for your convenience to insert into your references section. Ensure that you select the respective citation format in accordance to your institution or organization's requirement. With all these guidelines for research, as well as the National Library Board's e-resources to help you out, we hope that you have benefited from this series of videos. Feel free to share them with your friends and family as well. If you need to recap on any of the previous videos in this series, just click on the following thumbnails.